They say your biggest regrets are not what you do, but what you don't do. And you know what? I agree. It's the opportunities I let go that linger the longest in my mind. Take the stock market for instance. Do you ever hesitate to buy after a quick share price rise? Many people do. You'll hear them say, I've missed it. They then watch as the shares spiral higher to, to dizzying heights, all the while kicking themselves for, for not buying. Don't worry if you've done this, I've done it too, many times. You see, I've always been good at buying a breakout. This is when a stock bursts higher after a period of trading quietly. Many big trends start this way. My problem was buying if I missed the initial move. I'd, I'd start worrying about a pullback instead of trusting the trend. It was a case of, of getting in on the ground floor or, or not getting in at all. An example was near the end of the GFC sell-off. I'd been following the market closely. I thought a major turning point was, was coming and, and I was ready to buy. Check this out. This is a chart of the S&P 500. The market hit a new low in November 2008, but then it quickly began to rally. I thought this was a sign that the sign that the, the tide was turning, so I bought two big parcels of shares in an index fund. You can see my entry points on the chart. But I was too early. I cut my trade shortly after as the market took another turn lower. Here's what happened next. The market made a final low and began to move sharply higher. The S&P 500 rallied for six straight weeks and put on close to 30%. This was one of the strongest rallies in history. But I wasn't on board. You see, I hadn't seen a clear point to get back in. By the time I knew I should buy, I balked at the higher price. Here's the final chart in the series. It still bugs me to think about. I had the right idea, all I had to do was re-enter the trade. But I didn't act. Regrets? I've had a few. Thankfully though, it's not all bad. Regret also has a positive side. For me, regret is the incentive not to repeat a mistake. This has made a real difference to the way I trade. And next week, I'll show you what I mean. You'll see a stock that could have easily have gotten away. But thanks to past regrets, it's been a highly profitable trade. I'll also tell you how I use regret to weigh up a situation. This has had a, look, it's had a really big impact on how I enter a runaway trade. I think you'll find it interesting. You'll also be able to use this tactic yourself. So that's all for this week. If you like this video, or look, even if you didn't, scroll down and leave me a comment and let me know if there are any trades you regret not taking. Also, if you're watching this anywhere other than my website, motiontrader.com.au, then, then head on over and have a look. Until next time, I'm Jason McIntosh, and let's find some trends this week.